Whoa, Raleigh. Thanks. Oh, Scooby Doo. I'm so glad you found me. I'll just let you listen to her. Oh, it was just awful. As soon as we got inside the mansion, the mastermind appeared. He told us that he is behind my uncle's disappearance. Here, take this map. It'll help you get around a little easier. So yeah, after that little speech from Holly, um, just exit the mansion because you can't go on any further. If my voice was a bit loud there, sorry about that, because my microphone was quite close. But sorry for the long gap there, I'll probably cut some of that gap out. Okay, and someone will have appeared now to give us our first power up. Bet you're wondering where the key is to the gate, huh? Well, so am I. I'm pretty sure it's buried around here somewhere, but you'll need a shovel. Yep. Here, take this. Blah, blah, blah. And you'll have different music playing when you pick up a power up. And shovel allows you Very to treasure. dig around these things here and obviously oh. find a key. Dad Blaster, what are you up to now? Smuggler's Cove, yeah. You'll be able to get to the other door later, but we need a spring invention to reach the thingy. And here's that guy again, just ignore him. Ignore these things as well because you can't smash them just yet. And you cannot also get up there. You cannot hang to get up to things. If you can't, if you've got all five t t uh, things, then you won't be able to and pick up any more figgies. Whoa. Oh, that's a nice switch. Oh, there's also a switch there, but you need to add the Super Smash ability. Tell your jumps to careful around the flying fish, yes. Flying fish are really annoying, but you can get rid of them with a Super Smash. Yeah, you can jump and stop the top of animals to get rid of the well, small monitors in this case. Oh. Watch out for the ice block things though. Yeah. Oh, so does it oh shit! Watch out for that guy, you need a super power up for that. Just get rid of these things, they're really annoying. And you can't reach there yet without sprigs and benches, so don't worry about it. So just enter onwards into the next door, I suppose. It's blocked. <laughs> I hear come Shaggy. He'll appear a lot of times later on anyway. Of course. Why do you need to repeat his question? I don't understand that. Throw me up onto that life preserver. Then you can swing from my legs to reach that crate. Okay, Raggy. And this is one of the many times you'll be able to pick up Shaggy and use them. Well, there's also other things here, but yeah. By the way, you have to come back to a lot of the areas to get missing Scooby Snacks and such because of the fact that they need power-ups. I shouldn't have done that. Um. Like that. Go on, Scoob. I'm gonna hang around here. Yeah. yeah get it. Hang around. Hang around. <laughs> yeah. Catch, up, catch with up with you later. Yeah, we'll see him later on in another level, of course. 
Oh, we can come back to those later. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just avoid these things, they're annoying. Shit. Yeah, that's another area we can come back to later, but we need to power up for that, so just ignore it. <coughs> and you can't go that way yet, you need galoshes. Shut up. Oh, also, that switch there's been pressed for a very simple reason, but when we get the springs in there, she'll be stuck up in rock solid. Like you. You smell like and this like is also, whenever you reach a warp gate, thing. you must be near an area where you're going to So that's the continue on point. But warp gate indicates you can go back to whatever. Get I don't know what that's about. Super Don't Smash takes shoot to Tell where? What are you? Oh, secret passages. Or something. That's where they take you. Dog or chicken? 50 snacks and you just open that gate. But that battle will be stuck down until we get the Springs invention. Oh, we'll also jump to another area. Just ignore that. Our springs of mention is just along the other end. We can't smash any of the monsters here or get anything high up because we're on sticky surface. So you kind of just got to ignore a lot of things. There's also save points at near boss battles and such. This is all sticky surface, so of course you won't be able to get many of the secret areas sitting around here just yet. I'll explain to you why there's so many monsters that like you. Oh shit. You won't be able to get to that pelican bird or anything just yet. Yeah, you'll find out why there's monsters everywhere later. Oh, here's the Springs invention. There's also a save point here as well. Yeah, she's got a Springs invention so you could do this double jump. Oh shit. Yeah, Scooby's image will change every time you lose a dog tag, basically. If you run out, you'll just lose a life. Well, you won't lose a life, you just have to start again from wherever. So we have to go all the way back to the thingy. Now we've got the Springs of Edge, we've got to... I wonder if you would be able to do a double jump on to that crab from here. I doubt it though, because the game would be coded to stop that happening. Yes, you can. Nice one. They won't be able to go over there just yet. You'll find a way around to that side anyway later. This this goes around to the back of the cannery again. I mean, it's currently our only way back, but as soon as we exit, because we have the Springs invention, this will work. Happen. Doors locked up and there's a button jammed up. This in the button appears to be stuck because it's been forced up. Well, it was forced down for the sake of the game. But we're going to come back here later. But we don't need to go all the way back through that area. Just take a warp gate back to the beginning, like so. Warp gates are useful for getting right back to the beginning. Well, at the end of every section, there'll be like a cannon that takes you or something to take you back to the beginning. So we're going to go along this way now. This key is too high, that's why we need the springs, so we can reach the gate. I suppose you can see there are 100% level completions for collecting everything, I don't know. And we got in here. Each area has different enemies, by the way. Well, you'll find out what that is for later, why that gate can only be opened from one side. Oh, bloody hell, that was a close one. Yeah, I need a helmet invention to get that. You'll find that anyway. 
ignore the werewolf, of course. And you can go up here if you want, but there's nothing there except a witch. Why do they put things so high up like that? Oh no, where's the robbing? Yeah, there are different enemies in every location. So like in the garden you'll have like witches and such. Well you have certain enemies in every location, but they just appear prominently in other areas. So that area we'll go to later. Watch out for these cauldrons that are enemies, not your friends. But later that's a slippery slope. But we need a plunger for that. The plunger invention, and it's not until much later on, so ignore it. The plunger allows you to walk up steep, slippy slopes like that. Right, a <laughs> Ruby snacks. Right. If there's an exclamation mark, Ali just kills himself. <laughs> but it was just completely random. There's a secret area behind there, but you can't get to it just yet. Hello, Scooby Doo. Here's two inventions that the professor made us a person lamp chain, blah blah blah. Like so. And this allows you to creep past things like this urn. Technically, you don't need this yet because later on you'll get another invention that does exactly the same thing, which replaces this one. Just jump over these plant things when they're spraying their green crap. There's another one of the things where you need... Oh no, you don't climb up to that. There's a bridge above that allows you to get to that. And it requires a plunger invention anyway, so... And there's plenty of snacks in every level. Straight away, there's a glitch on this cutscene. The gate opens in, it pushes in. Okay, annoying darts coming up. These are really annoying for that matter. Oh, there's also another. Oh shit, I didn't even notice that was there. There's also another. Yeah, open from the other side. That is for much later. It's not at all at least the, the cliff side areas. Because you go through four separate areas. Currently we are, let's show you, we are in the hedge base. Then when you get to Chills and Smells on Haunted Hill, then it goes on to sea cliffs. And after misbehave and cause a cave in, it's the graveyard. So it's three areas. Oh, and there's actually a glitch related to that gloom and doom down in the tomb warp gate. So I'll tell you about it later when we get to it. The warp gate it pretty much every end bit before it goes on to another section, if you know what I mean. But that's it. There's also a warp gate down. Oh shit. There's a, there's a token down there, but you can't get to it just yet. So we'll just head on through. <coughs> I will also do the High Point of Order of Phoenix opening cutscene as well. Well, here comes another bit with Shaggy. And of course, we can't go anywhere. 